everybody! I'm here today to talk to you about seven symptoms of low engine oil in a car. Now you should definitely look out for these because you don't want to be driving a car with low engine oil, okay? Now if it happens, it's usually going to be okay as long as you catch it early enough and you solve the problem that is causing your car to have low engine oil. So that's why you should most definitely pay attention to the symptoms in this video and look out for them so that you don't catch yourself driving for a long time with low engine oil in the car and, and causing some serious damage to that engine. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. I'm going to try and keep this one rather short and sweet. Symptom number one of low engine oil in a car is your oil pressure warning light. Now in the vast majority of cars, there's going to be a light that will warn you when there is low oil pressure. And this light is crucial. It's critical. It's insanely important. Because when that comes on, that means that your oil pressure is significantly low. It usually doesn't come on. It usually doesn't get triggered when it is just a little bit low. It usually comes on when it's significantly low. So if that oil pressure light comes on, pull over, figure out what's going on. Don't just keep driving with that light on. Pull over, figure out, figure out what's going on, okay? The second symptom is checking your dipstick oil level. Now, you should check your oil level of your car uh, rather frequently. I mean, periodically, but, but as often as you think you need to. Um, and it's really easy to do. And if you don't know how to do it, just go and look up a tutorial on how to check the oil level of a car using the dipstick. It's really easy to do, and it honestly takes like less than a minute. Now, what I've gotten into the habit of doing is every time that I fill up gas, which is like once a week, in both of my family's vehicles so in my you know mine my wife and my kids blah 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 in both of our cars they I end up filling up about once a week for either of them as you know sometimes my wife fills up as well but for the vast majority of the time I'm driving it and I'll go fill it up when it's getting low I'll check the tire pressure and I'll check the oil level and it's just like it literally takes like like not even with the tire pressure gauge I'm talking about just doing a spot check and I'll take the dipstick and I'll check the oil level it takes like probably like a minute to a minute and a half and it really makes Make sure that I am keeping the car where it needs to be and hopefully extending the life of the vehicle. So the dipstick oil level is the second symptom. If the oil is low, it's going to show on the dipstick. I know I said I keep this video short and sweet, but it seems like it's going to be longer, but I think that is very important. So we'll keep it as short as I possibly can. Number three, symptom number three is the smell of burning oil. Now here's the thing. If you smell burning oil, what it could mean and what it likely means <clears throat> is that there's oil that is leaking and is leaking onto a hot engine component. And that hot engine component is burning the oil that leaks onto it. And if your oil is leaking, well, guess what? You're going to have low engine oil probably very shortly. So if you, if you smell burning oil, pull over, open the hood of the car. Don't touch anything that's hot but look if you see like some steam or some sizzling of some engine oil uh because that that means that you got to leak your engine oil should be in the block of the engine it should not be leaking out if, it, if it's out of there you got to leak somewhere okay um so next up that was number three the smell of burning oil the number four the next one on the list is going to be a knocking sound in the engine now there are a few reasons why an engine can can throw off a knocking sound but essentially if there's no if there's not enough lubrication in the engine Okay, then you're going to hear a knocking sound and the oil is the lubricant. It's the main lubricant. It's pretty much the, the most important lubricant of the engine. So if there's no oil or low oil, then it's not going to get the lubrication that it needs and the engine is going to knock. It's a very scary sound that you hopefully don't want to hear with your car. If you hear a knocking, um, pull over, figure out what's the problem. Like I said, you don't want to be driving a car with low engine oil for... Uh, you want to try and not drive it at all if it has low engine oil but before you fix it or before you top it up to get it where you need to go to fix it more permanently, okay? Um, number five on this list, the fifth symptom, just to keep where we are, number four was the knocking sound. Number five is going to be worsening engine performance. If you notice that after an oil change, your engine performs really, really well and then slowly it starts to worsen and then you do an oil change again and it performs really well and slowly it starts to worsen, you know, you, you could be lowering your oil engine level your engine could be burning oil potentially you could have an oil leak but you know your engine will perform worse when it has 
no oil or low oil. So with that being said, you know, it, it, what you, what you want to do is if you notice it's worsening the engine performance, you want to check it out. Okay. Number six on this list is an engine that starts to overheat. Now, if you have low engine oil, like I said, the engine is not going to get the lubrication that it needs. And uh, essentially what's going to happen is the metal parts are going to rub together. And if you rub your hands together, that's an example of how you can create heat like this. So do this like this right here in this video as you're watching this do this now imagine that but with metal okay it's gonna get really hot really really hot really quickly it's gonna cause your engine to overheat because there's no oil or low oil aka very little lubricant or no lubricant so the rubbing will create heat which will cause your engine to overheat so if you notice that your engine starts off at a normal temperature and as you drive it it starts to overheat big warning sign there are also other reasons why your engine can overheat but that's definitely a warning sign okay uh, and last but not least is the seventh symptom of low engine oil in a car and this is one that you you don't want to experience but it is engine complete failure if you're driving and your engine just like burr, 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 and it's done you can't start it it's not turning over that's like it, like there are many reasons why that can happen but one of the reasons could be that you were driving it with low engine oil for too long it rubbed too much the metal on metal rubbed too much and then boom that's it like i mean literally like go to your bank account and like literally just just kiss your bank account and say like i'm very sorry because i'm about to completely harm you okay like that's you're gonna really cause some serious financial damage when you got to repair an engine that like I mean I cannot tell you it might very well be worth it for you to just scrap the car and buy a new car it could go that much like I'm, I'm not exaggerating okay um that's it so that those are the seven symptoms seven of, of the more common symptoms of low engine oil in a car if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all I have for you today Thanks for watching.